so we did talk a little bit about today that millennials, right, are just graduating and they're still paying for it. They have a lot of debt and that's something that they're concerned about. How are they gonna pay back their debt? How can you think about retirement when you know that you're owing money? Um, they are the most educated generation. 47% of them have some kind of post-secondary degree. But then they have helicopter parents. I, I might be one. Didn't talk about my millennial children yet, but I will. Um, they have helicopter parents that are sort of supervising them and, and taking a look at what they're doing. And so that's another important point here. Delaying marriage, well, of course they are. They owe money, they are traveling around. Um, they're not delaying travel, which I'll talk about later, to retirement, which is something that baby boomers did. They are not fixed. They're not living in one place. They're moving around. And, they have all, and we have all of these different forces at play that are really important to understand when dealing with millennials. And of course they're delaying home ownership. And home ownership itself looks different. It doesn't look so much like a, a home with a white picket fence anymore. I mean, how many people here live in a home with a white picket fence? One, <laughs> two, three. So how many people live in an apartment building in a community? Many more. And then the idea of a co-op or a sharing of apartment. Airbnb has really come onto the scene and allowed people to reinvent the way that they think about home ownership and where they live and where they stay. And the idea of permanency and having that home and that fixed idea is something that really is a baby boomer um, value and it's not so much translated by millennials. And then thinking about retirement, well, I'm sure that they will one day um, and we'll get up to that. Um, we did talk a little bit about that. And I think the very same thing in terms of delaying home ownership comes when it comes to cars also. Fractional ownership over cars, fractional ownership, Uber, Lyft, some of these other things that we're looking at today are really, um, you know, integrating their values into the marketplace in terms of, of how people are transporting themselves. So you only need to take a look at the opening scene of the Jetsons to see where we're going, I think, and we get away from that Flintstones car. <laughs>